Me did the yan yan techua, and maybe I'm discovered for you, Pacum Busia for Wagana. No, me used to tap tap send, tap tap send. No fee mobile money transfer. A year easy, a year convenient, a year fast, and sounds so you free. Won't you ashe? Me discover ye map pimp. Tap tap send. In TNA, also download the tap tap send app. No, ever mobile phone so free. Never see Kakom where Busia for Wagana for Nanina. Tap tap send. Papa no no. We're still here to give you more updates on whatever is going on in our entertainment space. And I would like to say a very big thank you to you all the time. You have the energy, the zeal to support Samiflex TV. God richly bless you. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do well to subscribe. When you get this link, please make sure you share it to your family and friends so that everyone will get to hear of us. This is Entertainment Hub, Entertainment House. Mm. Aha, and Entertainment Ewo Anka Sankasa. Today, it's ongoing. It's about to go down. Let's officially welcome Patron. Boss. BBS here, BBS the D, BBS fine. I like, I like it when he say this is entertainment hub. Yeah, the home of show business. Exactly. Nobody does it better than we have been oh, doing God. it. If you hate us, go and drink petrol. <laughs> Boss, I hope everything is Shall fine. All is well, all is well, yeah. all is well. Let's in, give in, them. In, Let's in, give in, them. In, in our previous episode that we did about mm -hmm. Stoneboy and mm -hmm. Def Jam, mm -hmm. and I don't know how the caption went, and uh -huh. I, looking at the comment section, oh, it was heat. The fact is that and I am an editor. No, be before that. It's uh -huh. making the whole thing look like we hate Nigeria. Now, that's what I'm saying, that I am an editor, news editor. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to writing headlines, I know what headline to write. Mm. I know how to, like, I have schooled for that. So headlines, and I can write 10 headlines in a day without getting tired. Like 10 headlines in a day, and I won't get tired. So if people are going to be mad at my headlines, then they should get rid because I can write more than that. <laughs> Sometimes I'm even, I think about what to write and I stop. Some, ah, some day, when I'm writing headlines, the ideas that come in, uh -huh. I feel the sensitive one, oh, no, this one. Uh, uh, hey, like it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but but, but, but have, you, have we also thought of, um, the kind of gigs, the way Nigerians are taking this whole thing now. Oh no, I've addressed that issue. I've addressed that issue, and I'm I'm sure that those who have ears will listen, mm -hmm. those who have eyes will see it, mm -hmm. those who want to ignore will ignore. So don't let us even go back to it. I've addressed that issue mm -hmm. in, a, in a, about 16 minutes video back to back myself alone. Mm -hmm. I've addressed that issue. On so that Samiflex issue, TV or TV Live on Samiflex TV and Samiflex TV Live okay. everywhere. I've addressed it. So I want to believe that what I want to say, the message I want to put across, it is gone. Mm. So whatever everybody, everyone's response will be or anyone's response will be, back case. All right. So if you haven't watched that one, you should just go back. Samiflex TV Live or Samiflex TV here, right here. Mm -hmm. You can just go and then have a quick review of how the whole address was so that mm -hmm. you get to understand it proper. proper. Let's say a very big thank you to Karen the Digital Rasta, Rich the Finest Boy Flex, and of course, Lapiji, always making sure that we give you nothing but an authentic entertainment the name officially remains mc berima your favorite mc's mc but boss mm -hmm. um there was a press release yesterday mm -hmm. actually mm -hmm. and that is stoneboy and the dev jam connection that now okay and with some you few, mean that press briefing yes with a few mm -hmm. comments that he made mm -hmm. he made over there mm -hmm. a lot are saying that oh now that you've got into that place mm -hmm. now you want mm -hmm. us you want to give us some instances you mm -hmm. want to give us some some and charges mm -hmm. and then all stuff like that. Mm -hmm. People are not really getting to understand this whole thing. A brief okay. one before we move into today's um, topic proper. proper. Um, I still think Stoneboy 
has every room to put out whatever information he wants to put out. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, when he says his price has doubled, mm -hmm. he means that if you were dealing with him on a certain level, when you are coming to him again, you have to think twice. Okay. So this is just an announcement. It was actually an announcement he did. He was just telling the people that, guys, now that you've seen me on this platform, now that you've seen what I've written mm -hmm. or what I've signed to, you should also treat me as such. Mm -hmm. Your dealings with me should come differently. Mm -hmm. Your dealings with me should not be the same. Mm -hmm. Come prepared. So yes, I agree. Uh, for, for that present thing there, I want to agree because now uh, the focus of Stone Boy, I'm sure if the people at Dev Jam are really mm. going to be very serious with him, then it means the focus of Stone Boy will not even be Ghana like that. Mm. Yeah, his focus will not be Ghana like that. His focus will even go beyond Ghana. So if he tells you his price has changed or has doubled, there is no qualms about it. I agree. His price will surely change. All right. So me, I was thinking, that is my opinion or mm -hmm. idea or suggestion though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With what he did, it was mm -hmm. perfect. Now, making us know that if you want to now get to me, mm -hmm. you have to pass through right channels. Mm -hmm. As in, talk to my management like mm -hmm. he, he does before. But now, mm -hmm. he's emphasized mm -hmm. really, truly mm -hmm. that, please, this is what I'm doing now. And mm -hmm. this is how you are going to get me. Mm -hmm. The only person that can get me is, 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 is my wife, mm -hmm. according to him. But I feel it was too low mm -hmm. coming out mm -hmm. with the price thing. Mm -hmm. at, at least, if you get in touch with Stonebo that I need you, mm -hmm. oh, Charlie, bro, Talk to my manager. You talk to him. You go. That's where maybe mm. he'll come inside and be like, mm. oh, Charlie, now before we're taking this, mm -hmm. now that the management has changed, mm -hmm. or Dev Jam is now our, mm -hmm. our rep, mm -hmm. um, price has also changed. Yeah. Rather I, than I, coming I think out to I, 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 I am really even having an issue on the contact than the pricing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the pricing, like I'm saying, the pricing, the, it should be obvious. But the contact, mm -hmm. and we talked about this on um, Showbiz Daily, yeah. that if you say you cannot contact me, then it should provide the next option. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you cannot contact me, so now call Chief Abiola. Mm -hmm. You cannot contact me, so call this guy. Mm -hmm. That he did not add. I'm sure that is where the only problem is. Yeah. Because now he's saying we cannot contact you, but we should look for anybody around you or mm -hmm. somebody around yeah. you. Who is the right person to, for us to look at? Mm -hmm. Because if I go to someone, the person is even duping me, how would I know? Mm -hmm. If I go to this person, the person is not giving me the right information, how do I know? Mm -hmm. Or sh now, should we take any information after that comes from people as authentic? Uh -huh. So that is why I have an issue with Rada mm -hmm. for saying that you can not contact me directly, contact me through the people around, around me. me. Yeah. You no, know, he should have at least put down one figure, mm -hmm. one head figure that mm -hmm. this guy represents me mm -hmm. and the public. Mm -hmm. Anytime you want to get through Stoneboy, get. But for the price in there, no, no qualms about. About it. You think it's okay? With yeah, yeah. One? You should know that he'll go up. And do you think it's going to affect tomorrow's um, performances or stage or call up for? Proof? Um, he's saying that if you are not ready, he'll go to those who are ready. Okay. So if you need Stone Boy and he tells you this is my fee and you cannot pay, mm. move on, move on. Okay. Thank you very much. That's just a quick recap or whatever we name it. Now to the um, topic proper, proper. Mm -hmm. I feel the albums that has been released, mm -hmm. especially less. I'm going to mention names. Mm -hmm. Famille, for instance, mm -hmm. and then Kwesiata, mm -hmm. for instance. Mm -hmm. It feels like now album releasing. Uh, yeah, I do or mm -hmm. what do you think? Oh, it's it's part of the. Oh, it's good. Now. It's good that people are releasing albums. Mm -hmm. I'm happy. I think you can even add um, Shatawale and Medicals yeah. EP to yeah. it. That is a yeah. crossroad yeah. EP. And more, mm -hmm. so many albums have come up in recent times. So, and no, so sir, mm -hmm. we should rather thank God that our guys have seen the need to do mm -hmm. body of works. It is not easy to do that. So, now that most of our boys are doing it, we should rather be commending mm -hmm. them that think and say, and also, and no, so okay. But rather, I think my message to the people is that our albums should be done and done right, okay? Because what it means is that if you have about 12 songs, 16 songs. On a collection mm. i'm going to spend my time to listen to mm. it now remember i cannot spend my time to listen to trash i cannot spend my time to listen to some jargons i cannot spend my time to just listen to anything mm. so as much as i know artists are now doing more albums because they know oh streaming will pay you mm -hmm. now they've seen that streaming will give you money streaming mm -hmm. will pay mm -hmm. so everybody is trying to put together something mm. it is fair mm. These days, artists don't have to demand or depend on gigs to survive, unlike it mm. was some years ago. Mm. Some years ago, you had to make sure you have a hit song in the system. Then, after a hit song, someone should call you for a gig. Lately, that thing is dying out. Yeah. 
literally no artist is waiting for any gig again mm -hmm. now all that they need is to get some good songs online if they get some good songs online they are able to promote them well mm -hmm. they get streams and they make money from the streams mm -hmm. fair enough once again but i'm saying that whatever you are putting out as a collection mm -hmm. whatever you're putting out as an album should not be trash you should, should come prepared don't be in a hurry to put out an album because everybody is putting out an album. Look at Kofi Kenata. Look at how well he writes. Mm -hmm. He has not even released an album yet. Mm -hmm. I think that maybe he thinks at the period that he would have to wait to write the songs. We don't know how he writes just one song. We don't mm -hmm. know what he goes through. Mm -hmm. We don't know how long it takes him to write mm -hmm. one song. Mm -hmm. So imagine that if it takes say, three months to write a single song every time and the song becomes one of the best written songs, he will not rush to say, Charlie, six months, I'm, tr I'm trying to rush mm -hmm. and write eight songs to put on an album because I want to put on an album. Yeah. No, he will still not do That's why that guy is not in a rush to release an album. Mm -hmm. He is still giving us the singles and the singles are doing well. Mm -hmm. They are giving us all the streams and all the numbers. Yeah. So no one should rush. That is my point. Like my long and short of the conversation is mm -hmm. that nobody should rush to put out an album mm -hmm. albums are not forced no one is putting you under duress to put out an album make sure that whatever you are putting out as an album is something that we can cherish mm. some of them they make noise before the album bay, 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 bay is coming bay, bay is coming mm. kkk is coming mm. everybody oh the album is coming Bish, the day the album comes people go and listen now everybody keeps quiet that's what i wanted to find out from you Everybody will keep quiet. Nobody will talk about it because they were not impressed mm. and they are not able to come talk about it. Okay. So you see the hype dies, poof, after mm. listening to the album. Mm. You understand? Mm. That's why I am thinking that they can do more. Sarko Dier released one of the best albums, if you mm. ask me. Mm. That is the No Pressure album. One mm. of the best albums. So he was so proud of it to move in around Africa in mm. promoting it. Mm. Some of our people who have released albums, are they proud of it? Are they moving around to promote it? Mm. I'm not seeing that. It is because maybe they might not even be proud of their own albums. Yeah. So I think everybody is entitled to an album. Nobody is forcing anybody mm. not to release an album. But please, before you force to put down that collection, ask yourself that, will it be a good representation of me? Mm. Some of the albums released in recent times, I've listened to them. I'm not impressed. I wouldn't want to come across like I'm destroying someone's project. So I would make it general. Some of mm. them, I am not impressed they can do better because we know them to be good writers mm. so you, 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 you just can't rush to put out something mm. no it, it's a put off for because the more you do this next time when i hear you are coming out with this i'll not even rush to go listen yeah, yeah. you understand so very that's what i want to say uh, in simple words do it right mm. we will stream for you to get the numbers but when i go one it is bad i'll go again mm. let me add this thank god i've remembered um the guys at boom play i hear today one of them was at um stone boys and i really want to meet him but zola is telling me they said they met me or uh, i did not meet anybody um the guys at boom play are supporting artists mm -hmm. they are helping them with their recording they are helping them with their promotion mm -hmm. but ask yourself with the support that they are getting from them mm -hmm. are they giving them quality mm -hmm. to meet that support mm -hmm. Are they giving them quality mm -hmm. to meet that support that they are taking from these mm -hmm. guys? I think they are not. This is why I am on the, on the note on notion that everybody should do it right before mm -hmm. you put it out. You are not under duress. Nobody is forcing you. Mm -hmm. They are not proof. Mm -hmm. Are you impressed with your numbers? I'm not sure you are. I'm not sure you are impressed with the numbers. All because, Charlie, when we listened, it was too basic. Like basic some of them are you listen ah, Charlie where is studio new man mm. also ultimate to was a polish in here no I rush there about in the name of an album and I think that if we pay attention to it to take us far mm. if you don't we are still going to remain here so with that the energy that most of the bloggers and um, the people the publicists out there when um, they get to hear stories like this mm -hmm. that they, there is some reflex is coming to release the album the mm -hmm. energy that they push they push push, mm -hmm. push. after the album is being released mm -hmm. They sit back and relax. Mm -hmm. I feel like maybe they are not doing their work right. So now that you are saying that it's because maybe it could be that the the the, the, the they, songs they are not really are... impress impressive like no, that. The fact is that when you put out the album and people listen to it, nobody will even be willing to discuss anything with you mm. because they will be shy to tell you the truth or they will not be able to tell you the truth. Mm. They would want to hide and play like all is well, but all is not well. That's why no one will even talk about it. That means it's killing the industry. It is killing themselves. It's not killing the industry. 
if you're an artist and you do that, you're not killing the industry, you're killing yourself. I mean, the, the bloggers or something like that. If you've seen that, okay, this person's song is not really cool. No, no, no. See, when, it just... when it comes to creative pieces, mm. sometimes it is hard for you to review and judge or critiques. Let me use the word there. It is hard for artists to take reviews and criticism on their, on their creatives. Mm. That one is very hard. Okay. That's why me, I want to speak general terms. They say those who have ears, they let them hear. listen. Okay. You understand? Because it is hard for you to critique someone's work. They will not take it lightly. That one I know. I have yeah. been a journalist. You'll be a hater. And, and I know, no, forget about hater. I will be hater since. <laughs> I've been a journalist. I know how it feels for someone to critique your work. I had a program on radio called Judgment Board. Mm. It was war. Because we put people's song, we dissect the song, mm. and we talk about it. Some people were not feeling too cool mm. about it. It is okay. That's fine. But we are saying that in putting out the work, you know, make sure you are putting out something that will be recommended to the next person. If I listen to it and I don't feel the vibe, I don't enjoy it, how can I tell you, oh, Charlie, this guy has some album, go listen to it. Mm. I can't. Yeah. Because the vibe, no, they be me. Mm. You understand? Mm. But if the vibe, they be me. That because, hey, Charlie, Charlie that guy yeah, album. He killed it. Bomb. He nailed it. Uh, exactly. Yeah. So people should do best. They should do well. When they do this, we we'll commend them. But when they don't do it right, I'm sure maybe if it continues, then in our next episode, we can now list some people and advise them. We okay. send them a love note. Okay. Just like we've been sending love notes lately. We send them a love note for them to know that what is going on is not the best. All right. So from the studios here in Sotuom, Sami Flex TV, this is the few that we discuss or we are discussing today. You can be a part of it. All you need to do is to just drop your comment at the comment section. The name officially remains MC Berima. Thank you very much, Bro Sami. Let's say thank you to Karen Soda Guitar Rasta, handling cameras, and of course, Richie the Finest Boy Flex, Lapiji being our producer. I'm a press last year. Shout outs to you wherever you find yourself. God bless you. God bless me. God bless the whole world. Peace. And we are out.